What is going on guys? Today we're looking at Voller, the beautiful German striker. He has got just a plus one upgrade and he is in the team of Werder Bremen or Bremen, however you want to pronounce it. But he will get two upgrades potentially if they were to win two of their next games in their four domestic games. And he also, if they do score 11 goals, he'll get another one. Whether they score the 11 is going to be the big debate. That is going to be the hardest upgrade for a lot of people as it is predominantly, I believe, three goals per game on an average, that is. So it's going to be an interesting one. Whether they get the first two, that would be perfect. 90 Valer though, four star, four star, finally an upgrade and a double play style plus for him as well. He has got himself the chip shot, which he had already, and also the aerial. He already has... Acrobatic, quick step, first touch, slide tackle, power header, and also finesse shot. So he's got a few extras, which is always nice. And in terms of stats, he's a good striker. Did he get, he did get a, I want to say he was a four star, three star last time as well. So yeah, three star, four star. So he's got a skill move upgrade alongside that. And I believe there is some glitch or I don't know if the maximum's right, but he is maximum 150 on the market. I don't know if that's going to be fixed anytime soon, but that is going to be the reason why you cannot find him at the moment. In terms of his pace, 90, 91 shooting. It's a decent upgrade of plus ones across the board, bar from passing, getting a five. It's not really going to do that much, to be honest. You are obviously going to want to go with the Hunter for him as well. Keep him controlled, 98 and 96, turning him into a 93 overall striker. Let's jump into him and see what Valer can do. Are you looking for gift cards, game keys, and more? Head over to U7 Buy for a variety of cards you can get today. From PSN, Steam, all the way to Xbox. With huge amounts of price variations, check the link in the description for cheap, reliable digital cards for you right now. Let's get him going. The one thing I don't know, actually, I'm... I'm pr oh, referee, that was. Red card, definitely. He is right-footed. Have we got any free kicks on him? 99 power, 91 penalties. Okay, he's got a bit of that all about him. Um... Okay, we've got him here. He would have been perfect for the power shot as well. I feel like that would have been absolutely down to the ground as we give the ball away. She's going to try and run as that is a team of the year. Voller, get the header. Well, he should do because he has got the aerial. Can we look for a little 180? Trying something if we can. I don't know why he's kind of venturing to the wing. He's literally the single striker in this formation. So I don't know why he's quite going more left wing than anything. We can kind of work it into our game as obviously it's got a bit of pace. Got to be a shoot and looking for the near post. It's Allison reads it well. The question is, is he he's there? Can we get the header? Oh, that's not where... I, that, it's exactly where I wanted it, but not exactly where he was going. Can we find him again? Is he the one? No, he's not the one that's going to run. I want him more in the box. He's got the aerial, so it should... He needs to be here, because that's going to be the perfect role for him. I wish you could move players. You could literally just put them where you wanted them. I, again, why is Tarkowski coming over him? Get a little flick. Nice. Little pass off as well. Doing well as that backup option as he looks for a free kick or something. What I might try is swap him with the wing position just to see if he gets there. Why has this game gone incredibly laggy as well? Look for the left foot across goal. He has got the four-star weak foot, which is always nice. It's the one thing I've always liked about his base is that even though he may not be the most... I can't, oh, that's it. That's atrocious. Even though he's not necessarily the, the kind of number one striker in the game, definitely can finish with both feet, which is always a needed trait, really. Good bit of play. Doesn't get the pass off. One thing I can say for sure is he just doesn't suit the wing very well. Oh, but that near post is looking better. Oh, there he is. Get the header. 
that's where the aerial is going to be really nice. The chip shot, I must admit, I've tried it a couple of times on players without it and it, it's just never really worked. So that could be something that helps me in them scenarios, but it, it, it's very, very far and few. The aerial is always a nice one, especially if you are a more taller striker anyway. You're potentially going to hit them heights where you do have that ability. Nice. Get the pace. Get that shot. Oh, it's a rocket. That is what we want. A clinical finish going forward. Get the header. And, that, and that's it. Heading on is going to be perfect from him. Easily just able to kind of keep or maintain possession as much as possible. Physicality-wise, what are we looking at? 86. I mean, it's decent. So he should, should definitely hold on to the ball well. Oh, it's a hit and hope. Can we? Overhead? He's not offside, surely. Oh. I mean, I've had I've had easier <laughs> easier penalties, I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> Good interception. Uh, it's not gonna be enough to keep him there. Can we keep it in though? Enough. Get the aerial. Keeps it. Oh, Liao. Come on, stretch them legs. Oh, he's going to do it. Can we get something? Looking for the Liao back. Oh, this could be it. What we got? We got the lit there. Little dink. Little one back. Liao with the header and Voller with the post. Oh. Liao into Voler. Chip shot is incoming. Lovely. And that's what I've always said. A chip shot plus is always what I needed for that final chip shot goal. There's the one. Voler's in pursuit. Over the top. Oh, go on. Go for the volley. It's got, I don't know what I was hoping for, to be honest, but he got a good connection out of it. Can we Can we loop it into him here? There it is. I mean, that is the way that you get your hat-trick, surely. So going into the overall form then, I don't know when they're going to fix the price, but it seems to be that, that quite a lot are like that as well. We've got five of them, five, six of them completely extinct. Companies at like 1.9 mil, Marquisio's at 95k, 150, like 3 mil, and I think, I don't know what he's at, a mil? 1.3, so that's fair, it's fair enough. But in terms of especially Marquisio and Valer, 150k like he, he was never going to be that cheap like it's just not going to happen when it comes to a striker like this you are looking easily over the middle and a half range with Tevez extinct at what 3 million 3.3 you can kind of understand the level here he's got a skill move upgrade what's Tevez got he's got his 90 even then it's only a double upgrade 3.8 is a massive, massive upgrade. So in terms of kind of Valer, stat-wise, it's not great of an upgrade. Like, it's, it's just a standard. The skill move is a big upgrade. Double play style plus, I like the aerial. I think when he is 5'11", still able to get them headers, knock the ball on, maybe get them volleys that turn out really well, headers, that is going to be an improvement on this card. And let alone that, he could still get the upgrade as well. So that's even better. And I think that's where... You either make a card or break a card. It's the same when you look at just the normal fantasy. Like we look at somebody like Marquinhos as a 90. It's a, it's a great card. It's a great center back. We're looking like top 20, top 10 in the game. You make him a 94. He goes to like top five easily. Like that will be a sensational card. Same with Mendy. You go to a 93 Mendy. That's just going to be ridiculous. And it's going to be so expensive same with Griezmann even a Grealish could be could be argued that you can get him up to a 93 if City was to obviously do everything so th there is always arguments between them all I don't know if we've got any goalkeepers by the looks of it so in terms of a card if they just stay there for instance if Konate stays as an 87 he goes into the fodder pool if he goes up even better for them and it's the same with the heroes they only get a double upgrade so all of them can only go plus two so obviously with company you can go to a 93 Valer can go to a 92 most of them or hopefully most of them should get at least one depending on the results if they're going against anybody hard and also 
the club in their favour, to be honest. When it comes to the actual players, they have to appear, they have to score an assist, they have to clean sheet. There's something that's involving them. This is literally just down to the, the teams that EA have chosen. Man City for Tevez and obviously company. We've got Juventus. I don't know the rest, so we will keep going with it. But Valeri's word of Broman or word of Bremen, you're obviously going to follow them for the next four games at a minimum. In terms of what chemistry style, I feel like Hunter's the easiest option. Keeps him controlled, gives him outrageous pace and shooting, which is going to be interesting once or if we do get an upgrade or two, whether we do that, because the plus eights are perfect right now. If he was to get a plus one, you're kind of then thinking, do I go for something else? Do I look at more agility balance? I can imagine a lot of people are going to look at the engine to start with, which they are, to obviously increase it. We've already got incredible shooting, so you could argue between the two. It depends on what you want. More pace and shooting or more agility balance. I feel like both are a great option and both will give you the same result of a top top striker definitely in the realms of like a nine and a half to ten at the absolute minimum the question will be what does this price actually come in at but let me know down below what you think make sure you like and subscribe and i'll catch you all for the next one peace